Hey guys, Slash Rust here. Welcome back to the Beatamon Archive. Today we're going to be building the Frost Silver Bomberman, also known as Master Kodiakuo Special One. So basically, with the next Super Beatamon review, it's going to be the last main OS system Super Beatamon I'm reviewing. But there are still another, I think, four OS system or three OS system Super Beatamon and three bomber type Beatamon, something like that, to also review that are going to be happening a bit down the line. And this is one of them. So, weirdly enough, we're going to be reviewing Special 2 before Special 1. But, yeah, what can you do? Anyways, let's uh, open this guy up. As you can see, he, I think this is actually the first bomber type Super Beatamon that. Uh, we've built on this channel. A little bit different and strange, but uh, what can you do? And so we've got the sprues with his frost silver body here. His, I guess, rubber foot pads down here. Strangely colored Vidama. I guess the parts for his barrel and magazine and his core parts, and I guess foot and arm parts as well. If you guys hear that whirring and whooshing in the background, that's the good old highway that's like two feet from my house. And uh, I guess here's the instructions. This guy really shouldn't be that complicated to build, I don't think. I haven't built many of these bomber type super beat em on though. So let's hope this isn't too, too weird. All right, so pieces are out of the sprues, and something that I forgot to pull out of the box is the sticker sheet here. Nothing too, too special. I think the adhesive looks a little bit sketchy on this thing, so the only one that I'll be putting on for sure is this face one, because these guys look really lifeless without their stickers. I'm just gonna put this Bidama off to the side for now, and I guess we'll just start with the core. So, we've got these hold parts here, and I think, oh, See, that's the only difference, is you can see we've got those lines. Might as well just keep those at the bottom, so that you can't really see them. And they're a little bit different, as you can see, they just wrap around the back, rather than going through holes at the back, you know what I mean? So it's a little bit different than, say, like a Battle beat -em on or even other OS system Super beat -em on And then we'll attach this extended trigger a little bit. Oh no, and that spring went flying. Ah, there it is. Let's try that again. There's, I've actually had this happen a few times, where basically these springs just go flying. Oh, these guys. Okay. Do you guys see the hair <laughs> that got caught in there? I don't even know where that hair came from. <laughs> and now I guess we'll just complete the bottom part of the frame. So we'll just put that on there. And there you go. And I guess, I guess, you can load a Bidama in there. And there is the completed core. And now, we'll just start building the head. So we got the back, and for some reason, we put this little red piece in the middle. Maybe by making it out of a different material, it prevents breakage. Because, again, I've seen other bomber-type Super Beatamon built this way. I'm not entirely sure why they have that little red piece. All I can think is to prevent some kind of breakage by making it out of a softer plastic, something like that. And that is the head completed. So when you put the head on, you can see it's almost like a Zero Two system beat em on with a removable head. And the way you seal it is rather than with rings, you use his little <laughs> arms. And you can see they're a little bit flat on the front to, I guess, grip a little bit better. See, I'm not the biggest fan of these bomber type Super Beatamon, I guess. I mostly got this one because he completes the Master Kodiakuo special series. So, kind of seemed like a must get. Oh, actually, these feet don't go on just yet, and there's a reason for that. And now, I'm just going to put on this back hatch. Keep that Bidama on the inside. There we go. And see, a lot of these guys do you have kind of a ball that goes on the back of their head? I guess there's no pictures of other ones, but a lot of them kind of have a little ball that goes on the back of their head. That's why we've got kind of this shape here, but the thing is, that's not how this one attaches. We'll just see. And actually, this guy has a magazine, 
so we actually won't be using this back hatch. Now, I guess we'll build the barrel next because it's the next uh, most simple. So you can see we've actually got this rubber pad to put on the bottom of the feet. It's a little bit different, again, than other OS system Super Beat'em On. I think the general deal of these Master Kodiakuo specials is to do something a little bit unique within their series. So, I got that pad on, and then we take the barrel, and we plug it on like that. Hmm. And then, you'll attach it. Now, before I do that, looks like this battery is dying. <laughs> just one sec. All right, well, while I waited for that battery to recharge, I went ahead and just put this guy's eye sticker thing on. Uh, the other ones, I don't know, this guy's got a decent enough color palette that he doesn't super need stickers. We'll just see how that goes. Anyways, so yeah, you take this barrel and you peg it into the middle here, like that. And then when you peg it on onto the main body, that should hold the barrel on. And I guess that should do decent. <laughs> yeah. If you don't put direct pressure on it like that, it should hold on decently. Anyways, and now for what I think will be probably the most complicated part is putting on this back section. I think, yeah, I think you just slide it on like that. And then I just got to make sure that I got that we have this piece pointing up. And then this, it's like pops on like that. And yeah, it'll go on like that. So then you just put on the magazine halves like this, I think. Something like this. Seems a bit weird. But I think that should do it. It's weird that it spins like that, but okay. And then I guess it just plugs in. Huh. Okay, that's cool, but why does it spin like that? Maybe so you can choose a certain side that you prefer to drop into? Something like that? Well, you know what? This guy has some surprisingly decent power. Not too, too bad. So that is Master Kodiakuo Special 1, or the Frost Silver Bomberman. Pretty different, but pretty interesting. And I guess, ah, here he is. This is Master Kodiakuo Special 2. Don't quite have Special 3 yet, but you can definitely see how these guys are kind of part of the same line. So basically, the overshell system was preceded by the bomber system. So in three consecutive systems, we have the three consecutive Master Kodiakuo specials. One, two, and three I'll be building sometime in the future. That said, this is Slash West, and uh, I'll see you next time on the Beat'em On Archive.